You're into running, eh? I was last year. Yeah, I've started picking it up again, but uh, definitely nowhere near as as into it as I was last year. I, I ran the Blue Nose last year. So. Did you? Yeah, and uh, I'm I could do a 10k now, and like that's probably good. So I ran the Blue Nose one year as well. It was uh, did you? The most satisfying thing. What uh, distance? Do the whole thing? N- not the the furthest one. The yeah. second furthest one. I forget the actual the half, distance. The half marathon. Yeah. Good for you. It's just yeah. 21k. Is that what it is? That's, that's 21 and 21.1. Oh, I, I started out. So I was probably in the top 10 in the lead. Before, Were you actually? No. Oh, let, like uh, let, me, let me finish the story. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was probably in the top 10, yeah. like lead, like the first two miles. Okay. And uh, then uh, I probably, I don't I think I finished like top 100, yeah, maybe. Man, that's impressive. But like I just, I, right out the gate, like I got this. I got so much energy. And Everyone's you're just cheering like, on. Yeah, and, you're just, you know, you're, you're running done. up, yeah, running up Bell, up Agricola, and just. Yeah. Did it help you when the people handed you water and were cheering you on? It, it helped. Uh, it, man, it, it's a complete race day compared to your training days are completely different. So, yeah, especially near the end, too. Like like I said, the marathon last year was June 9th, and it was, like, one of the hottest days leading up to the summer. And oh. and just that last 10K, the support from the, the people along, because you're going up you know, up Point Pleasant, yeah. and then you got to do a little loop around that community, and then you got to go all the way up Young. Yeah. And Young to, like, Citadel's this really really grueling slow uphill you don't really notice it but like you definitely need the support along the way for that one so so sorry did yeah. you run the full marathon yeah i did the full wow. like, I, like i i just was really into it i don't know i had it in my head like this year you're gonna run a marathon I, my colleague uh, jeremy keith he also wanted to do it yeah uh, he's a, a reporter with global as well okay and we just we just supported each other along the way and we we got her done it's uh i remember there was times in the race where i just had no energy and then there'd be a group of 20 people just cheering you on complete strangers and mm-hmm. It was hard to, it's hard to explain, but it helped. They're like, oh, okay, these people cheer me on. trying to signs and yeah. fun little, you know, little messages. It was the weirdest feeling ever. Like, you know, when you're running just for the hell of it on a random Wednesday, there's no one cheering you on. So you, you've never had that feeling of, okay, whoa, whoa, okay. Exactly. Like, yeah. it makes you put your chest out a little bit. You take like, the okay. music out, you know, you're yeah. ready to go. You just, you feed off the crowd, so. It helps. 